Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. I'm going to introduce you to the Publish Press Checklists plugin, which is one of the best ways to make sure your content is ready to get live. With this plugin, you can make sure your posts have a minimum or maximum number of words. You can make sure all your posts have a featured image if that's what you want. You can make sure that your posts have a specific number of tags or categories. You can make sure all the links work. There's all sorts of things you can do to make sure that your content is ready to be published. Let me show you how it works. I have a brand new WordPress site here. And on the plugin screen, I'll go to add new and I'll search for checklists. And publish press checklists should be one of the first listings right there. Click to install, click to activate. And you should see a checklists option on the left side here. Now, on this screen, I'm going to see a list of all the things that I can configure for the checklists on my site. For example, number of characters in the title. So I can make sure that the title of my post has a minimum or maximum number of characters. I might decide that all my titles need to be between 40 and 50 words. And I have a choice of either disabling this requirement, which means it's not needed, making it recommended, which means that the authors will see a warning if they haven't met the requirement, but will still be able to publish, or required, which means it will be impossible to publish this post unless this requirement is met. So I'm gonna set this to required. This means that 100% guaranteed, if a post is published on my site, it's going to have a title between 40 and 50 characters. There is only one way around this requirement, and that is with the who can ignore the task box here. What this allows you to do is it allows you to have a get out clause for some user roles. For example, you can choose administrators here. And if an administrator chooses to have a title that is slightly longer or slightly shorter, they're able to do that. But all the rest of the roles on your site, it will be required for them. So that's the basic setup of how this works. Let's take a look at some of the other requirements here. Number of words in the content. I know for a lot of sites, you want to have long posts. This may be a minimum of a thousand words in each post you put on your site. Number of categories. You can make it recommended that every post on your site has between three and five categories. I know quite a few people who run WordPress sites that don't want too many tags and categories used. Well, with the number of categories and the number of tags requirements here, you can do that. You can set a maximum limit. Number of characters in the excerpt. Number of internal links in the content. This means how many links are going to other pages on your site. Normally, if you have more of these links, it's good for your site's search engine optimization. Number of external links in your content. Normally, too many external links is bad for your search engine optimization. So what you may do is decide to have a required minimum number of links for the internal links, because these are good. And you may decide to have a maximum number for the external links, because those are generally bad. All links use a valid format. This I would always recommend to make required. What it does, is scan through your links to make sure they all use a real URL format. You can make sure quite easily that you don't have any broken links in your content. Alt text for all images. This is very useful. It basically checks to make sure that there is some, uh, some descriptive text for all the images that you add to your content. Featured image. Latin characters in permalink. This basically makes sure you don't have any exclamation marks or maybe Arabic or Japanese or Chinese characters in your URLs. And then finally, 
approved by a user in this role, which is one of my favorite requirements. What this does is basically ensure that a user in the role you select here has to approve the post before it goes live. So if I set this to required and I set this to administrator, this post cannot go live unless someone who is administrator comes along and checks a box for the post. So I'm going to click on save changes there. These are the requirements. Let's see how they work in practice. When I go to create a new post, I'm going to see my checklist on the right hand side. The items that have not been met yet are in red and the items which have been met successfully are in green. So at the moment, I don't have enough categories to publish my new post. So for categories, I'm going to have to make a few. Category A, category B, category C, and now automatically this requirement, which was a red X, has now become a green check mark. Okay, number of words in the content. This is going to be harder to do. I think my best bet is to do some copy paste quickly so you can see how this works. Okay, we can see that this is a red X at the moment. And at some point, this should automatically change from a red X to a green check mark. Okay, there we go. This is a very long post indeed. Now, we have some which were automatically checked by default. For example, alt text for all images. This was automatically checked because I didn't have any images in the post. So there was no way I could go wrong. Let me add a block. I'm using the Gutenberg editor here. I'm going to upload an image and immediately after uploading the image, this turns to a red X. This is because if I take a look at th this particular block and this particular image, the alt text is empty. Now this lady's name is Sarah, let's say. I've entered her name in the alt text. And now if I go back again, this is correct. Another one that was correct automatically was all links use a valid format. So if I enter a link in here, but the link is incorrect. For example, in this case, I've missed out part of the HTTP protocol. If I save this link, Publish Press Checklists is automatically going to recognize that that's a broken link. I'm going to have to go back, edit that, and this time if I do it correctly, okay, we now have a green check mark. All links use a valid format. You'll notice that on the Publish button in the top right corner, there's a warning sign. This means that I haven't completed all the tasks that are necessary to publish this post. Those are marked in red. This is the approved by role box that I mentioned earlier as one of the coolest features of this plugin. I have the option to approve this post because I am in the administrator role. However, even after checking the approved by administrator box, You'll notice there is still a warning sign on the publish icon. If I try to publish, I'm not going to be able to. The publish button is not going to work. This is because I need to complete the checklist. I need to add a minimum of five internal links in the content before I can actually publish this content. Now, I could go back to the checklist settings and allow myself as the administrator to skip this. 
but I haven't done that. So what I need to do is add some internal links to other parts of the site. Now I'm being a little cavalier and adding these links randomly, but you get the idea. This is encouraging you to link to other key pages on your site. And with this fifth and final internal link, all of the checklist items are now green. The warning sign on the publish icon has gone. I can click publish and my post is now live. Thanks to publish press checklists, I've made sure that my content has enough categories, it has enough content, it has enough external links, that all of the images have alt text, and there's a ton of other features that you can use to set up your content how you want. There is a free version of Publish Press Checklists available on wordpress.org, and there's a pro version available on publishpress.com with extra features.